The new Prince of Wales stopped to chat with many people in the crowd, including 10-year-old siblings, Poppy and Casper Tucknell. I handshake it, William, but I said hello, but he said hello back. And he walked off it, and he came to my brother, and he just... I think them two. I think them two are new best friends, really, because they just bonded so much because they talked for a long time. <laughs> um, we talked about um, how old I uh, was, what uh, school I go to, and uh, where I live. And uh, we were talking about um, football. We come to light some flowers. I'd actually made some flowers, uh, bouquet flowers, in a vintage handbag. Um, for her uh, in memory and uh, we were quite surprised that uh, William and Kate was actually here today yeah. we didn't actually we didn't know, know. We, so, we had no uh, idea a historical moment it is for all of us um, you know even for the, for the children it's, it's absolutely amazing we, my youngest she won't know about the Queen so much but now she'll learn about the King more she'll have that in her life whereas we obviously have only ever known the Queen, Queen. you know so for everybody to come together it's absolutely amazing it's so many people the royal solemnly viewed the carpet of flowers, notes and balloons near the gates of the private home of the late Queen Elizabeth II in Sandringham Estate, located in Norfolk. Sandringham has been the private home of four generations of British monarchs since 1862. Queen Elizabeth's body was brought to London on Tuesday from Edinburgh. Prince William told a mourner that the walk alongside Queen Elizabeth's coffin during her procession to Westminster Hall brought back memories. The body of the late Queen Elizabeth II is now lying in state in London's ancient Westminster Hall, where tens of thousands are waiting patiently in line to pay their final respects to Britain's longest reigning monarch. Presidents, prime ministers and royalty from around the world will gather on Monday, September 19th for Queen Elizabeth's funeral.